Good morning and welcome. Today we celebrate the sixth Sunday of Easter. Please take home a bulletin or visit the parish website and Facebook page for information on upcoming events. Your homecoming packets for our June 5th and 6th celebration weekend are available in the gathering area. Please be sure to pick up yours after Mass today. A Mass of healing and remembrance for all parents who have lost a child before birth or baptism will take place on Thursday evening at 7 p.m. All are invited to attend. Are you or someone you know searching for a community, hope, God, or connection? Join us on Zoom Thursday evening at 6.30 to ask questions, hear about our RCIA program, and to see if joining the Catholic Church may be right for you. Our special offertory collection this month is for parish families in distress. Masks and social distancing are strongly encouraged while you are in church. For communion, we encourage reception on the hand at this time, but if you would like to receive on the tongue, please come down the center aisle at the end of the communion line. Our intention for this Mass is Michael Croteau. Our presider is Father Greg Hamas. Please stand and join us in singing number 169, 169 at the Lamb's High Feast, numbers 1, 6, and 9. I feast we sing praise to our victorious King. He has washed us in the tide flowing from his open side. Praise we him whose love divine give his sacred blood for wine. Give his body for his feast, Christ the victim, Christ the priest. Where the paschal blood is poured, death's dark angel sheets his sword. Israel holds triumphant goal through the wave that drowns the foe. Praise we, Christ, to blood was shed, Paschal victim, Paschal bread, With sincerity and love, Eat we manna from above. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. So welcome to all as we celebrate the sixth Sunday of Easter. So we're uh, closer to the end. We've got to finish strong with our celebrations. Also a happy Mother's Day to all our mothers. Jesus gives us a commandment to love one another as he has loved us. We've all failed in that. Uh, so we ask for forgiveness. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, peace to people of goodwill. 
we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory. The glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we relive in remembrance we may always hold to in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Peter entered, Cornelius met him and, falling at his feet, paid him homage. Peter, however, raised him up, saying, Get up, I myself am also a human being. Then Peter proceeded to speak and said, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. While Peter was still speaking these things, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who were listening to the word. The circumcised believers who had accompanied Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit should have been poured out on the Gentiles also, for they could hear them speaking in tongues and glorifying God. Then Peter responded, Can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit even as we have? He ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations 
known in the sight of the nation he has revealed his justice he has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel the Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only son into the world so that we might have life through him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that he has loved us and sent his son for expiation of our sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the father in my name he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise 
Last Sunday, in Ocean City, Maryland, there was a multi-vehicle car crash on a bridge over the bay. The crash left a vehicle dangling over the guardrail. And worst of all, a two-year-old in the midst of this was ejected from the vehicle and pummeled down to the waters in the bay below. Now this would have been a much greater tragedy if not for a gentleman who witnessed this accident, if not for him who saw and he ran immediately up, dove off the bridge into the waters below and saved the child. This is love in action. We hear about love in all of our readings today how much God loves us. Our gospel tells us, as the Father loves me, so I also love you. Pause with those words. As God the Father loves God the Son, that love in the Trinity, that is the same love that God has for you and me even after all that we've done, God shows no partiality. Every Jew, every now Gentile, as we hear about in our first reading, the first Gentile conversion, all of us sinners are included. God has sought us out and called us friend. And a real friend is one, right, that has seen us at our worst, who has seen us when we're most vulnerable, when we're most in need, and doesn't leave us. They love us and care for us. And so much so does God love each one of us that he sent his son to be brutally crucified for our sake. No benefit to God, but simply because he loves us. God's love for us is a fact. It's true whether we acknowledge it or not, whether we're aware of it or not, or frankly, whether we care or not. God loves each one of us. But it's for us on how do we embrace this love? How do we accept it? And Jesus tells us that it consists simply in following the commandments, to do what it is that God commands us to do. And this is where a lot of us kind of check out, right? Where it's, okay, follow the commandments, pull out the check sheet, and go down the list and make sure that I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing, right? No. This isn't why God gave us the commandments. We are not slaves. He did not give us a set of commandments so that we can just blindly follow him as some kind of test to see how faithful we can be if we will just do as we're told. He does it because by lovingly embracing the commandments, each which requires a heroic death, we are transformed to be like him. We are infused with a new ability to actually care for another simply for their sake, simply because here is someone that was made in the image of God. Here is someone that's going to live for eternity. Here is somebody that God has deemed worthy enough to come down to earth and die for. Here we can lay down our life in acts of self-dying. Vacuuming up popcorn off the carpet, investing time with our children, even simply letting another cut in line at the grocery store because they just have a few items. Done with love, this is God working through us. His love becoming manifest, depending on us. And so for us, this transformation then for us, we'll begin to satisfy 
our interior life, the yearning that each one of us has, because we receive the saving power of God, that we can have divine life, that in our hearts we can have paradise now, while we're still here on earth, that our joy may be complete. Because in the end, that's what we're all seeking, isn't it? We seek sometimes money or acceptance or that feeling of being loved. Because deep down, there's a bit of emptiness still inside of us. There's a sense of being incomplete or somehow that we might not be adequately prepared for what life might have prepared for us. But those that choose to remain in him, they do not have this void in their heart. And that is why we are asked to follow God's commands, to lay down our lives for others and for him. Love, excuse me, there is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. When we've acted in accord with the greatest love ever, uh, ever, we become more than just friends. We become saints. And it's that same love that we affirm even today in our mothers when they lay down their lives. And while there are not many opportunities to jump off a bridge, <laughs> those opportunities just don't present themselves very often, but each of us, every single day, is given an opportunity to die to ourselves, to simply say, I give this up. Or I choose to do this solely, solely for you. Let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. God is love, therefore we entrust our prayers to our Heavenly Father. Our response to these petitions is, Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For those searching for faith in a chaotic world, may they encounter Christ in every member of the church and especially in the loving care of of our ordained ministers, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For all nations, may they love and serve the Lord through their actions and laws, especially through the right to life from conception to natural death, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For all mothers, may they know the comforting presence of God renewing their strength and wisdom, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For the children receiving their first communion today, especially Lily, 
May they allow the risen Lord to enter into them through the Holy Eucharist and show his presence through how they live their daily lives. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For the less fortunate in our world, may they know the love of God through our generous sharing of our time, talent, and treasures. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, especially Maria Laura Costa and Margaret Bristo. May the love of God embrace them as they continue their journey of faith to his eternal kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we give thanks. Your son Jesus laid down his life for us. Help us to lay down our lives for each other. Hear our prayers. We ask them all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join us in our offertory song, Love Goes On, number 475. Number 475. Love is patient, love is kind, never ending, never ending, slow to anger, rich in mercy, love goes on beyond all time. Love is faithful, love is true, ever joyful and forgiving. Love endures when life is over. Love is old and love is new. Love alone has shaped our soul. And our hearts are always restless. Until love becomes our purpose. New creation and unfold. Love our journey, love our goal, through our faith may move the mountains. Love alone can heal the broken, only love will make us whole. Love our Savior's one command, love the way that I have loved you. With a towel and a basin, washing feet with service hands. There are three gifts that remain, when all other things have perished. Only faith, hope, love enduring. And the greatest gift is love. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, all, at all times to claim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfill, fulfillment and the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, 
Every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise, for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely 
for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop. The order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. Please join us in our communion song, number 481, where charity and love prevail, number 481.
please join us in our second communion song, Bread of Angels, can be found on page 367, number 367. now abide precious Jesus man of ages with us now inside on us Angelicus feed on his home our heart and hearts tender Jesus love so gently never let us part Tetrina Deitas Una Que and divine bread of angels accept our praises let your glory shine let to us say me mas todos Today is Mother's Day, so I have a special blessing for all our mothers. I invite all the mothers to please stand at this time. Loving God, as a mother gives life and nourishment to her children, so you watch over your church 
Bless these women, that they may be strengthened as Christian mothers. Let the example of their faith and love shine forth. Grant that we, their sons and daughters, may honor them always with a spirit of profound respect. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Let's show our affection to all our mothers. Please stand. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life and the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. So we do congratulate, uh, congratulate our, our first communicant, Lily. She, uh, she just stepped out for a moment there, but congratulations to Lily and all her family and her first communion. And uh, don't forget to pick up your packets, uh, the homecoming packets as you go, is one for each family. And a reminder uh, for all here and those on the live stream about the June 5th, 6th, uh, reinstating of the obligation for mass. We've been saying it a few weeks, but uh, it's when things kind of go back to normal a little bit that we're obliged to go to mass. Now there's exceptions for vulnerable folks still. There's always an exception, but if you have questions, feel free to reach out. I can help you discern all that. Oh, there's Lily. Let's congratulate uh, Lily for her first communion. Yeah. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Please join us in our closing song with one voice, number 380. Number 380. Take the world and go out to every land Shine the light of Christ for all to see May the lives of those we touch Sing praise to God above Let us sing, we'll sing With one voice we'll pass the world along with one voice bring justice to the world and with all the angels will spread the goodness of god with all power and glory the world of god shall reign take the world to our neighbors and the streets and a thought a life for all to see may we all set out to live in peace and harmony they will see and see with one voice we'll pass the world along with one voice bring justice to the world and with all the angels will spread the goodness of God with all power and glory the word of God shall